Greetings from Yemma, friends and families of Garrett Evangelical Theological Seminary. I'm Krista Moya and a proud graduate of Garrett Evangelical Theological Seminary. I am from the class of 2016 who graduated with a Master of Divinity with a concentration in Congregational Leadership. I am currently serving as a minister for children um, at Una Baptist Church here in Yangon, Myanmar. If I had to describe my seminary journey, I think a quote um, that I will be sharing shortly fits perfectly. Um, it says, God is there in that person, in her doubt as well as in her faith, in the ambiguous and the painful experiences, as well as in the joyful and the beautiful moments. God is present in the hope and the courage that go into composing a life. My seminary journey had all of those moments, all of those experiences, yet I come out giving praise to God for every moment, every experiences that I had there. I especially remember and am profoundly thankful for all the professors and mentors that I met um, at Garrett Evangelical who understood the complexities of weaving our own stories during the pursuit of not only understanding who God is and how to uh, describe God, but also God's intention for our, all creation. At Garrett Evangelical, I had plenty of moments that were ambiguous, um, challenging, and a few times painful. Uh, where I felt so inadequate um, learning from geniuses and great minds like Dr. Stephen Ray on the problem of evil, church history, Christian history with Dr. James Papandrea, and bioethics with Dr. Brent Waters. Um, all of those challenging papers and discussions has truly prepared me to live and lead at such a time as this. I also remember professors who led with their hearts full of grace, such as Dr. Angela Kauser, Dr. Mark Fowler, Dr. Mark Teasdale, and Dr. Jennifer Brooks, who taught me that people matter more than projects and profit. Um, Dr. Jennifer Brooks, I will always remember, who said, exegete before you preach. Um, ethnographic research requ is required before organizi organizing is what I learned, um, and I learned so much from you, Dr. Angela Kauser. Um, because of this responsible work before preaching and organizing and teaching, I had so much confidence in doing and sharing um, the good news of God. And, um, oh, the creatives such as Dr. Kin Cannon and Dr. Wilson, I mean, they share so much hope and joy uh, in Christ through their work of art and song and singing. Um, I remember this moment where Dr. Wilson sang every word um, from I need you to survive with so much weight and so much meaning. Um, it was powerful to watch how you all create uh, this community of the beloved so naturally and so powerfully um, just by being you. And so I am so grateful um, for all these people. And most importantly, um, vocational formation and Christian leadership classes were most formational for me and helpful in the work that I am doing now with youth and children. Um, every semester at VFCL, we were asked to revisit our call stories, um, to develop them as we matured and as we learned more about organizational leadership and congregational leadership and all the theologies that we were um, learning in classes and oftentimes like revisiting these call stories felt like tedious work extra work but you know in the chaos of this COVID-19 um, pandemic and transitioning into new forms of being in ministry and at times not being able to strive and do anything um, it is so comforting to be aware of God's call in my life and to remember my call story, um, to remember how God called me, right, and who God has been for me. Those are so comforting, and so I'm so grateful for the VFCL classes. It always centers me back to God um, when, 
when the world is filled with comparison and competition. It always brings me back to a place of I am enough and God's grace is sufficient for me when I feel like I'm not being enough or doing enough. It reminds me that God who is faithful in weaving my story thus far will always be faithful in weaving my future regardless of how unpredictable and chaotic my tomorrow seems. So I leave you with this prayer. May God, who is love and wisdom, always remind us who we are in God's perspective and may it strengthen us to live faithfully and intentionally as Christ did in this world. Amen.